This fourth project in the Starbrook block is expected to produce approximately 250,000 barrels of oil per day starting in 2025, increasing our total capacity to approximately 800,000 barrels per day. The Yellowtail development underscores the great partnership between ExxonMobil and Guyana as we garner value for all involved and provide the world with a reliable source of energy in a safe and responsible manner. That was the president of ExxonMobil Guyana, Alistair Rutledge, speaking in a video statement provided on Monday to the local media. Just last week, the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, granted a five-year environmental permit that allows ESO Exploration and Production Guyana Limited, EEPGL, ExxonMobil's local affiliate, to move ahead with the development of the Yellowtail project. This project is ExxonMobil's fourth development in the Stabrook block offshore Guyana, and it promises to be the largest single investment made in Guyana to date, with 10 billion US dollars or 2 trillion Guyana dollars, earmarked. Importantly though, Rutledge said the company is already seeking approval for its fifth project, URU Plus. Development and production could start here in a few years' time. Even as we made this final investment decision for Yellowtail, our team here in Guyana has submitted an application for environmental authorization of a fifth development in the Starbrook block, Waru Plus. This reflects our commitment to steadily and of course responsibly develop the current resource estimate of more than 10 billion oil equivalent barrels. EPA's senior environmental officer Aretha Ford told the newsroom that the application was submitted on March 23rd. Meanwhile, Ruthledge also talked up revenues offshore oil and gas development has allowed Guyana to earn. And he says that the company is committed to helping Guyanese businesses grow. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Raghavir.